Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I thought I'd take a look at the Infinity Gauntlet Omnibus. Uh, I know I'm several years late because the Infinity Gauntlet was big in uh, the Avengers movies and the early Marvel movies uh, with uh, Thanos collecting the Infinity Stones, but oh well, I'm, I'm, I'm late to the party, but I'm here. Uh, this is a pretty big omnibus, pretty big as you tell there. There's the spine, and here's the back. Uh, it, it includes uh, Silver Surfer 34 to 38, um, Thanos Quest 1 to 2, Infinity Gauntlet 1 to 6, Cloak and Dagger 18, Spider-Man 17, Incredible Hulk 383 to 385, Quasar 26, 27, Sleepwalker number 7, uh, Doctor Strange Sorcerer Supreme 34 to 36, and material from 31 to 33. So, basically, you've got the Infinity Gauntlet story itself, with the crossovers and all the tie-ins that that went with it. Uh, here's a look inside, and it's basically, as you can tell, just almost the same. The back is not the same. Here's the back. Now, I think this was the cover for the direct market edition, I think. So maybe somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. Here we go. Uh, lots of credits. Uh, Jim Starlin, of course, wrote the Infinity Gauntlet storyline, but he had help from a lot of people, as you can see here. Um, a lot of pencilers. Uh, my favorite's George Perez. Uh, I was always a big fan of George Perez. And, well, that's the first cover, but do we have a contents? I know we have a contents issue here. It's a contents page somewhere. Here we go. Okay. Uh, we start off in February of 1990 and end up in December of 1991. I was not around for comics, the early to mid-1990. Um, I started uh, getting into it again a little bit later. So a lot of these first issues I missed, and uh, when uh, I came back from overseas where I was working I I didn't know I, I didn't know this this had started um, big Marvel event got Thanos as the big bad and it was uh, I seem to remember it being a fairly big thing here's she Hulk trying to take out Silver Surfer which really isn't gonna happen Got a lot of characters in here. Uh, like I say, the first few issues are Silver Surfer issues. Um, oh, there's Star Fox again. Do you think he'll show up again in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? I'm not convinced. But he might. I don't know. The artwork uh, 
is various because there are lots of different pencilers in here. Um, it's still kind of got that because of the the age of the time period that this was first published. It's still looking kind of 80s and 90s because that era was the well it was current wasn't it so like why wouldn't it be um it's a the infinity gauntlet itself is only six issues but it's the It's the tie-ins and the uh, crossovers that take up a lot of the story. And it looks like we got Adam Warlock in here. Yeah, who'd have thought we'd we'd have seen Thanos on the big screen when at the end of a. Uh, uh, Was you know it's been so long now I forgot wasn't it the Avengers the first Avengers movie where we saw Thanos for the first time? Uh, the page quality is good. It's uh, not particularly glossy. It's not real. It's smooth, but there's a there is a slight roughness to the texture of it. Um, but I think it's good quality paper. Adam Warlock. Oh, there's Galactus. It's cool that Galactus and Thanos kind of have a face-off together. Did any of you follow this when it was uh, first uh, released? This cover, I remember. Um... It's a 50th anniversary issue, 50th issue of the Silver Surfer. And if you look at kind of where it's silver here, uh, if I remember correctly, this was embossed. It was an embossed cover. And I think that's the first one that I remember. Because I had uh, started uh, perusing the comic shops again and taking a look and seeing what I'd missed and what was going on. But the nice thing about these omnibuses is that it collects uh, all the issues and the tie-ins of these event storylines and you can uh, you can read them, you can catch up with stuff that maybe you missed. So it's well worth having a copy of, I think, if you like the storyline. Spider-Man and Cloak and Dagger. Got the Avengers in the mix. Got some X-Men there. Oh. Well, there's Cyclops taking on Thanos. This one's pretty cool. This is where uh, Wolverine tries to take on Thanos. And that's a, that's a cool sequence where we get to see them fight Thanos.
issue number five of the Infinity Gauntlet. Got the Watcher. I think the art's pretty good. Here we have a bit of an extra here. This is the Infinity Gauntlet Premier hardcover cover art by uh, George Perez. Oh, that's pretty cool. You know, Spider-Man. You get to see what Spider-Man gets up to. It's nice that the book lays flat too, so you don't have uh, any uh, gutter loss. You get a nice sewn binding. I think this is probably one of Marvel's better bindings. I don't usually worry about the bindings too much, but um, some are better than others, and some are better quality than others. So it's nice when they do it right. Doctor Strange. See, this is one of the crossovers. You know, the problem with crossovers is, again, it's a way of them selling comics, and if you want the whole story and all the ins and outs of it, you have to get the crossover issues, but that just costs more money. So, again, we get crossovers. It's a perfect business plan, really. How do we get someone to buy more comics? Well, we do a storyline, and then we do crossovers and tie-ins but sometimes when you're on a budget you can't always get all those this was pretty intense too right here this scene here seeing all the heroes defeated killed It's a good book. It's a good book. I like it. Now, are there any extras? Well, I believe there are. We go through to the end here. Let's 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 go through a little bit faster. Um, Sleepwalker. I don't remember Sleepwalker so much. I, I have a vague recollection. I don't think he made it, did he? If he did, let me know, because I, I, I don't, other than maybe seeing some cover art, I don't remember that character in particular. Yeah, boy, there's a lot of, this is an epilogue for the storyline. So again, you're going to have to get all these issues. Let's see here. Extras. Yes, we do have extras. Excuse me while I get to them. Okay. We have Marvel 1991, the year in review parody article. Got some trade paperback covers. We've got a Marvel Age magazine article. Some more parody stuff.
different versions of cover arts. We got some original art in here from George Perez and some other artists. Mostly George Perez. So there is some extras in there. Now, this is out of print, but fear not, it's not... Uh, it's not terribly difficult to get a hold of. Um, I've seen it available for sale on third-party collector sites, you know, Amazon, eBay, you know, the regulars. Um, it's not terribly expensive. Uh, I, I think you could pick up a copy for not a whole lot more than what it cost cover price when it came out. So, if you're interested in owning this, I think it's pretty easy to acquire. Uh, I don't know if they've reprinted it or not. I know they've... I know the, the Infinity War issues have been uh, reprinted, of course, many different times in different formats. Um, but this specific omnibus, this, this one itself... I don't think they've reprinted it. But if you like the storyline, you like the characters, you like Thanos, it's worth picking up. I, I'd say go ahead and uh, grab a copy. If you can find a copy, uh, it shouldn't be too difficult. So thanks again for uh, spending some time with me and going over this with me. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll talk to you again, and see you real soon. Bye.